What up, y'all? And welcome back to the channel, Dap Universal. I'm Dap, so coming back at you with another pick card reading. <laughs> and today we're looking at uh, what if they were to drunk call you, or what if they were drunk? What would they say to you? Um, in the world of what if, we don't they don't have to be a drinker or whatever. It's just this is just me and you sitting here with the cards and the divination dice and the stuff, um, just tapping into that part of your subconscious that may <clears throat> help you see some things from a different light or another perspective or make you pull some things to the front that we need to think about and about our connections with this person, whoever comes up for you. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. Just be responsible with it. This is, this is just um, a, um, a, an, an interesting dive into like maybe your psychology or something like that or their psychology it, 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 just, it is what it is use what it use it for what it for what it is it can just be an entertaining little reading just use it responsibly okay take what's yours leave the rest that doesn't this is a general reading uh, how it works is that you're going to pick a pile one of these piles you'll see on the screen i've worked very hard to make these little images for us pick the one that you're drawn to um don't you know, don't think too hard about it. Just which one calls to you? Which one feels like, oh, this could be me? Whether it's the color or the or the pose or whatever it is. Um, and if you are a visual person, not, I'm less of a visual person and maybe you're into like numbers, you like seeing numbers for some reason, um, check the timestamps and look at the numbers as well. Like the timestamp, um, that may help you uh, narrow it down some more. Pause the video if you need to. And please, 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 please do me a favor and just tap the like button. Don't smash it. He said he's tired of being smashed. He said, I just get smashed all day long. Just, they just be smashing me, smashing me, smashing me. Just tap him stop, and, and stop abusing my like button. It'll light up for you and everything. He, he, does, he does so much. So um, I, I did say oh, I'd mention that for him. And go ahead and subscribe to the to the channel too if you're new here as well. We, we keep it, we do a lot of tarot and stuff, but um, I ain't gonna keep you, I ain't gonna keep you. Um, just, just make sure to, to find the timestamps below, comment, and let me know how it resonated and I'll see you at your reading. Bye for now. What up, pal number one? Welcome to your reading. We're looking into what would they say to you if they were drunk? If they, you know, like how you drunk call somebody. Um, it's been a while. You have you've been repressing. You've been like, you know, you've been you've been blocked or you blocked somebody. You've been ghosting, and um, all of a sudden, after a few cocktails and a, and a few good laughs with some friends, they go home. You by yourself. You thinking, damn. I'm really affected right now. <laughs> it's, 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 it's happened to the best of us, but we're looking at when it happens to them, the other person. So I'm not necessarily keeping these inherently romantic, but I feel like they're gonna go there. Of course, what would this person say to you drunk? So my intentions with this is to just keep it open, but I'm pretty sure, you know how they say like the real version of the flight of, of, of someone comes out when they're drunk? I don't know if I necessarily believe that, I feel like a more extreme version does, or maybe some subconscious shit comes out, but it's like, I think there are some, some crazy drunk people and some mean drunk people, but they're not necessarily drunk people in real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, an, it's a side of them, yes, but it's like, it's not their true nature, I don't think. Um, it's the reason why they call them spirits, you know? Um, it does change a person, I think, like the version of a person. It's still somewhat, it's still them to an extent, but it's like, it's like that un, filtered version you know and we all have a we all have a, a, a negative side or like a mean side or like a whatever um a shadow side basically so i'm not judging <laughs> when if like i don't judge as much when it comes down to that but i did want to start off this reading though by uh rolling some dice we're gonna use divination dice we're gonna use some oracle cards some cartomancy to look into like maybe what the situations were when you were like around each other and then we're gonna go into the tarot which is gonna be the pot tarot today and look at maybe where they're at now. <clears throat> All right. In the world of what if, <laughs> what if they drunk dialed you or drunk called you <clears throat> or what if they were drunk and talked to you? This doesn't have to be an ex. It could be someone that's still in your life, by the way. But pile number one, I'm going to go ahead and say it, though. This is somebody who probably ain't in your life no more. This is probably somebody from your past. Um, some information about this person, though. I do see Mercury in Leo in the fifth house. So Mercury is the, is the planet of communication. It's how you speak and how you think and that thing, it's, it would indicate a smart person. Someone ruled by Mercury, someone who thinks a lot. Um, Mercury in Leo is somebody who has a lot of 
they probably think they're smarter than other people. They probably think they're the smartest in the room sometimes, or they um, they are a leader in what in what they do. Like, so they may know a lot about their field or like their their area of, of expertise. They may be really good at it. Um, this could also be somebody who does public speaking or something like that. Somebody who uh, isn't afraid to to public speak. Um, they have a lot of uh, hobbies that may include like being on the stage or like karaoke or something like that. They may be in a band for God's sakes. I can see that they could be in a band, uh, like something like that. Um, they're very creative is what I'm saying. This person has a lot of creative gifts. Um, and that means that they could be an artist and you could also be an artist. Like you, this, that could be the space that you kind of met in. Uh, I'm seeing Leo. I am seeing heavy Leo. You both could be Leos. Don't have to be. I am seeing, um, Gemini and uh, Virgo again don't have to be So this is what they would say to you we have some of these cards I know it's been a while Listening to that song you love Never could be in a band incoherent sobs <laughs> Incoherent sobs and I actually am guilty of every thing you accused me of so this is a person who feels really bad so this is somebody who is not necessarily a narcissist i wouldn't think i know that word gets used a lot but like it's, it's somebody who may really regret uh how they treated you or how they were in the past it may, they may they may have been a fuck boy back in the day it's like maybe they've had some some time to kind of grow from it or learn from um from from the uh relationship maybe they really did treat you pretty you know, fucked up. They, maybe they really were careless or selfish. But um, let's pull some of these Oracle cards and see what comes up. By the way, if, you, if this is starting to hit for you, if this kind of sounds like, oh, this could be my purse, this could be me. Um, tap that like button and ask for me. Just tap it, you know? Don't hit it too hard, though. Please don't please don't hurt my, my like button. Just tap it. Just, just thank you, you know? It'll light up for you and everything. It's cute. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do this tarot stuff all the time, all day long. I go live every single day. But um, let's see, power one. What was going on in the in the connection when you were together? When you were around each other? I'll, honestly, also I see like this doesn't have to be like a committed thing. Y'all could have been like never gotten to the point of actually like sealing the deal. You could have been like hooking up or like you could have been like a situationship partner as someone said in my live stream one day. Um, what, how does my ex situationship partner feel about me? <laughs> like what? You mean your ex? Mm, my ex situationship partner. We weren't really together like that. I'm like, okay girl. But um, the Queen of Hearts comes up, uh, a sensitive lover. So yeah, okay. So this is a, a a very romantic type of person. I think they love to be in love. They love they like they shower someone with like attention. It could have came up across like that, like you're the one, you're my soulmate. I love you. Um, but then you may find out that they was doing it to like three other people. Yes, yeah, so it's the four of clubs, the five of clubs. It's jealousy, no appreciation, and a sensitive lover. So this may be in a it could have been a Scorpio, a Cancer. I can see that Leo comes up again heavy. But this is somebody who um, was maybe jealous, but they also uh, <clears throat> was flirty. I feel like they were very flirty people. Um, I feel like they may uh, have tried to love bomb you or something like that. Um, it's like they, 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 they were either codependent and clingy or going back and forth between being codependent and clingy and just like neglectful. Um, and it was very much kind of like say what I like do, do as I say and not as I do kind of energy. It kind of gives me. Um, but it's like they may be, they may have high expectations and standards or something like that, but they then they forget your birthday, kind of stuff. It's like, it's it's like they don't they didn't put in as much as like they expected out of you or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm getting, getting something about that somebody went out too much. Like they 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 it's something about like going out a lot never around it's like never just want to have a quiet night it's like they were they may, this may have been like it gives me vibes with someone in their 20s like early 20s just like going out all the time every night we got we got a taco tuesday we got wednesday we got um thursday thursday we damn sure going out was there gotta go out there friday yeah we gotta go on friday it's karaoke night on sunday it's like yeah it's like they had a full schedule or something were, like something like that maybe you were like that too or are like that but they're also really jealous and they were drinking all the time. I'm gonna vibe this person was drinking all the time. They're probably still doing the same shit, but like. 
what's the what's the truth of where they're at now? The Emperor in reverse. The eight of pen, the eight of buds in reverse. So the Emperor in reverse, the eight of buds in reverse. This is the pot tarot. Um so I feel like they have maybe lost a sense of structure. Like maybe they've kind of gone downhill since the last time you you know really been fucking with. Um it's giving me vibes like maybe, maybe people maybe they just kind of let themselves go a little bit. Maybe a job has let them go. <laughs> Um, it's it's kind of like saying like they may have had big dreams and, and 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 were on the right path to something, but like I think for a lot of them they fell off. They fell off, and and now they feel kind of like maybe they're failures or something like that. Like they're depressed because I mean, come on, incon incoherent sobs. <laughs> they feel it. They feeling it. It's like it's like. They may have been flying high or something when they met you or they thought they were and now they're like in a rough patch. The Emperor Reverse is like, they, they, they're they losing a lot of structure in their life um, or a lot of support. Uh, they may be having like some real problems. The Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, <clears throat> people don't want to work with them. Or uh, people, or, or like they may be having issues like keeping a job for some reason. Some of them they may actually be like, um, uh, like literally needing help. Like mental health issues or like, Something about like they like um, addictions. So that's where they're at now. So that means like it makes sense as to why somebody who would be going through some hard times reflect on like, well, why am I going through hard times? All the people I've stepped on, kind of shit. Like we, you know, people go there with themselves and like, and that sometimes it's a great way for them to kind of reconcile with the sh with the um, bullshit they put people through. Sometimes is when they finally go through some stuff themselves. It shouldn't take all of that, but it, it is what it is. Um, how they view the relationship now, now that it's over. We have the three of buds. You were cooperative with them. You, you helped them. Um, you, you gave them a lot of patience and a lot of, um, room that maybe a lot of people just don't give them anymore. So they took that for granted. They feel like they took that for granted. You were, um, someone who cooperated and helped them. I see the night of buds. I remember, yeah, it's like they didn't have to work as hard with you like you may have you may have you may have like given them the type of energy where it's like you may have made this person feel like you, you, you are a boss a boss you are and they really was believing that shit until like you until like you know it went to their head or something because they really ain't <laughs> they are really not <laughs> they it, i don't know it's like you made them feel motivated or something like that or you made them feel like they were really competent and like maybe they're not you saw their potential They miss your encouragement. How they feel about you now? How they do you when they when they think about you? The nine of buds. They all these are pinnacles. Nine of buds and the ten of buds. You have the, the three of buds, the knight of buds, the nine of buds, the ten of buds. Oh, so we, the damn, the eight of buds. So you put, pulled all pinnacles. This person sees you as really put together, really grounded. So this person must not be. Um, the nine of the nine of pinnacles or the nine of buds. It means attractive. They, they feel like you have planted the seeds for for the things that you that you've desired, and you have accumulated them. You have you have um, nurtured them into something. Like you you didn't go down their path. You went a different way. Or even if like you say, if you don't feel like you have accomplished that much, it's like you have the mindset. They see you as a very powerful manifester. Um, all this, with all this, the pinnacles here, they see you as a powerful manifester. Um, the the nine, the ten, the eight, eight, nine, ten. Wow. They they say they feel like that you you could have been the catalyst that would have changed their life, and there's and they feel a lot of regret about that. Um, they feel like if they would have stayed with you, they would have been with you. They would have maybe finished something they may they may have accomplished something bigger um because they know that you would have been supportive they know that you were worth it and you deserved it but they weren't in that space then and i feel like they really really regret the shit out of that and i feel like for you there's no way in and like you're like baby i moved on i'm with somebody else baby 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 i gave you way too many chances like you had your chance so many chances sometimes a hard lesson is learning um, to appreciate things while you have them because they ain't gonna always be around. Like, ain't nobody gonna sit here and just sit here for you and wait for you if you can't appreciate nobody. Like, we don't, don't nobody owe you nothing. 
You can apologize if you want to. I accept your apology. Now go on now. Thank you. <laughs> that's how I feel some of y'all sitting here like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but um, that's what I got for you. Um, a lot of regret. A lot of regret. So just know like, if they, <laughs> if you haven't talk, talk, heard from this person, you know who I'm talking about. Um, rest assured, they feeling that shit now. They said they didn't give a fuck back then. They damn sure give a fuck now. Just know that. Um, but sound from the comments, something how this resonated, if this resonated, and I, you know I love y'all to pieces. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, and just remember, just remember this for me, okay? If you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Bye. What up, pal number two? <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, my, I'm, my throat's kind of like, I don't know my voice is going out or like, me, 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 me. I don't know. It, it's, it's bad, but um, I talk too damn much. Welcome to your reading on um, what would they say if they called you drunk, or like what, what if they drunk called you? What if you? What if they were just drunk? Like what would they say to you? I'm leaving it quite open. Um, it feels like all of them are going towards the romantic vibes, and that's cool. So it could be someone in your past, someone from now. Um, well, it's not gonna be the smart from your future. That'd be dumb. Um, but you get it. I'm leaving it quite open. Um, but before we get into it, I want you to not smash the like button. Don't smash him. Please don't hurt him. He's been through enough. Just tap the like button. Just tap that motherfucker. Just bloop. It'll light up and stuff. You enjoy it. Um, subscribe too if you if you if you want to if you're new here. That also lights up and shit too. Like bloop. get get your little get you some serotonin or whatever. Some 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 dopamine hits from the from tapping the like button. Don't smash my like button. All right. So I'm gonna roll you some divination dice and see what comes out. This is gonna talk about like, maybe the type of person that they are, um, like their energy. So maybe you can kind of see who we're talking about. Make sure this is your pile. And uh, then we'll do some cartomancy, which is just playing cards and we'll see what maybe what happens um, in the dynamic between you two, like what, what, what's that all about? And then we'll end it with some um, tarot cards to see how where they're at now. Also, we will uh, start off with some um, we will do some, uh, what, what would they say to you? Like little cards that I made, okay? All right, so I see Mars in Scorpio in the fourth house. Oh, this person is nasty. They're nasty. Why, why would I say that? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how my mentor told me when I was learning the planets. She's like, yeah, Mars is the planet of uh, how you fight and how you fuck, okay? And it's true. It is, it's, it's raw primal energy. So it's how you go after things. It's how you, huh, it's the hunter in us all, right? Um, it is how we assert ourselves, dominance as in like, you know, when we stick up for ourselves and also when we, you know, wow. It is. And in Scorpio, uh, it's this traditional ruler. Uh, Mars and Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, before, we, before we actually discover Pluto, Mars was always linked to, um, I mean, Scorpio's always linked to Mars. Um, and it makes sense, right? If Scorpio is the um, is the sign of sex and death and regeneration, is definitely it it's, it goes along with it, you know. So it does make me feel like uh, this person's energy is very sexual, but it's also mysterious and dominant. It's very assertive. It goes after what like this is a person masculine energy, whether it's a male or female, they get they go after what they want honey they, they 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 tell you what they want they tell you what to do when you're doing it shit like ah, do like this it's like they like to talk and shit too oh my god i'm getting hot and bothered not hot and bothered but it's in the fourth house the fourth house is um y'all could have lived together or like y'all could be this could be like someone who's very close to you but maybe probably someone from your past as well um it gives me very comfortable feelings like y'all maybe like very close or like maybe you all or maybe you're engaged or, or married or like in a long 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 term relationship or something i don't know it gives me that it could be a lifelong friend or a lifelong um a person who's been in your life for a long time like maybe back in like school days like kind of stuff that's the vibe that it gives me it's just someone that you're very comfortable with um i'm already seeing aries scorpio and uh cancer energy i am but this is what they would say to you if they was to um, be drunk I needed you too much. Let me make it up to you. Dot, dot, dot. A lot of filthy, dirty talk.
pull up. So, um, yeah, they nasty. They nasty, they nasty, they nasty, they nasty. And you love it, probably. You probably love it. It's also a person who may have uh, shut down in the connection. Um, maybe out of left, <clears throat> left field or like, because I, I feel like they have a lot of sexual energy. So it's like, they, they probably was like, I have been a hoe. Like, you know, like there's certain people, especially dudes who like, that you my main though. Like you my you, you, you my you my main shit. You, you you the queen though. You number one. But there's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine, a ten, a, a goddamn an eleven, bitch. How you got eleven? You been enough hours in a day. You got a job. What the hell is this? I don't want to be number one. <laughs> like I don't want to be nothing no more. It gives me that vibe. Okay. I, I mean just I mean just take it if it fits. If it don't 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 worry worry stuff to death about it. But um, let's pull some cards to Nancy, see what this is. Whoop. All right, so we have the Seven of Spades. Yeah, lying ass motherfucker. Uh, caught red-handed is what it says. Seven of Spades is like the Seven of Swords of a lot. Sneaky, sneaky Lincoln and shit. You could have been a sneaky link, but it, it may not even knew that you was a sneaky link. I'm saying this person's like a, kind of like a doll. Oh, they just have a high ass sex drive or some shit. I don't know. Uh, the Two of Diamonds. Yeah, Secret Life, I shit you not. Caught red-handed, secret life. Mm. I'm sorry, five of spades. Yeah, you go too far now, you sorry. I bet you I'm sorry, you sorry that you what got caught. Nasty, just a cockroach, a little roach. It's nasty, just nasty. All right. So I, I think that confirms a lot for some people. You, if, 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 no, if that doesn't hit, this ain't your pile. Pick something else. Um, and I see the high priestess and the hierophant. And this person knew that you were very intuitive because hell, they're very intuitive, I think. I think they have a certain instinct about them, like like a sixth sense. It's almost like predator though. <laughs> it's like, you know, like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know how cats are like sitting there just minding their business, all of a sudden their ears go up and like, they start like, doop, 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 doop. And it's like the smallest little gnat across the room and they're like, psh, pounce. That's the kind of energy it gives me, it's weird. But the high priestess and the hierophant comes up. And, I'm, and like in this deck, sometimes I feel like the high priestess and the magician are pairs. Sometimes I think the hierophant and the, and the high priestess are pairs. In this deck, it looks like the hierophant and the high priestess are pairs, right? One representing tradition, the other one representing, um, say, not tradition, like representing secrets, secret, secret, um, secrets. And then there's out in the open. So I think, believe it or not, I feel like the high priestess is actually them. They're the high priestess in this situation. And you may be more of the hierophant, and I'll tell you why. Um, even if you think of yourself as a high priestess, like, but dap, I'm connected, I'm spiritual. That's not what I mean. They had a lot of secrets, baby. The high priestess is like, she's not letting you in to her inner world. She's not, she's not gonna let you into her secrets she feels like it. She's gonna keep her mouth shut and just look at you crazy. Mm. <laughs> silence is the key, moves in silence. The Hierophant, more so of an open book. Always talking about that damn book. Always that, you know, it's like, like, like speaking it to the masses. It's like, likes the attention of it. It's like, what I'm saying is like, you're more of an open book. You're someone who had higher morals, um, more ethics, higher ethics, I guess. Um, Cause ethics and morals are different. Ethics is something we can all agree on, right? Like, you know, don't kill anybody. You know, it don't hurt anybody. You know, don't, don't, don't embezzle money. Um, but morals are personal. It's like, you know, well, I did say not to steal money, but what if it was stealing bread for like, you know, your hungry, starving children? That's different, you know? That's morals. Those are different. So it's like this person may play the game a little different. They may have their own rules to shit, codes, ethics and shit. But they are intuitive. They are intuitive. <laughs> So part of that was like played into like maybe using it for not the best uh, reasons. Like they're intuitive, so, but they may have just kind of known when, like how to move with you. It's weird. Y'all were definitely like karmic partners. They knew you well. I feel like, and you, I think you knew this person well too. That's why you like that's I, you know this person. But there's something irresistible, ir irresistible about them. Like, and you know someone for a long time. I feel like a lot of times you can kind of like excuse a lot of the bullshit that they do. It's like, you know what, no one else but you could do this to me and still be like in my energy or in or around me or alive, bitch. Like, like literally, like, why are you trying me right now? What's the truth of where they're at now? 
regarding you. It's the truth. It's the truth. All right, I just see the eight of wands or the eight of joints. They want to. They want to communicate. They have, they've been thinking about you a lot. They want to. They want to reach out. They 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 and, 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 uh, they want to. They want to relive some things. They, they think about you a lot in a sexual way. The Eight of Wands is hot and bothered to me a lot of times. Um, this is the Nine of um, Pentacles in Reverse or the Nine of... Uh, no, that's not a Bong in Reverse. But they, the thing that stops them, the things that stop them is that they don't think that you'll find them... Um, they don't think that you're on the same page as them. You're like, I wouldn't let you touch me with that other person. Dick, like, leave me alone. Like, no, hell no. They may, they may feel like that. They may feel like you would reject them, and I don't think this person likes rejection. They too smooth for that. King of Bongs. They could definitely be a Scorpio or Pisces. Male Cancer. I don't know. <clears throat> they give me water signs. They give me water signs. They give me water signs. Also see Taurus. Virgo. Alright. So how do they feel about you now? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? The three of bongs, the three of cups in reverse, and the four of joints of the four of wands. They feel like they don't, they feel like they want to see you. They want to come over. The, the the four of wands is definitely like the home. Like it's, it's having a good time, like live, live the talk live the good times talk about the good times being that energy but the three of, of bongs in reverse is like but i don't want to be your friend though i'm gonna come in like a friend I'm, no i won't i won't i won't i want to have sex i want to i want to can we pretend that we're together for just like like one more time like one more night just like i'll, I'll like let's pretend it's our honeymoon let's role play it's our honeymoon it's our wedding night and um I, we, will, we will just roll all night long and then guess what then I, then i won't then, then we don't talk for seven months how about that i won't does that sound like fun I don't know. It's something like something like that. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, someone's birthday may be coming up. It may be theirs, maybe yours. I don't know. Someone's birthday may be coming up. Um, that's the thing. You may see this person at a party or see this person at a birthday party. I, this is, I don't always do predictions, but if I if it's called to me, I'll say it. They may show up at, at a birthday party or something like that. So I feel like this is a person that you know, or like you may see this person out somewhere at like an, at a party or an event or like something like that. A club, a bar, a restaurant, you know. You both got the invite, but didn't see the list. Damn. How they feel about the connection now? How they feel about the connection? All right, I see the King of Buds in reverse. The King of Pentacles with the Knight of Buds. <clears throat> they know that they're not in a place where like they got it like that no more. They know that you ain't. They, you may be talking to somebody else or dating somebody else, or just like just not giving them the time of day. You don't you don't put them on that pedestal like you used to. You don't see them as that mm, that, that that ninja. You may see them as dusty, busty. You know, busty, dusty, scrubby, webby. I don't know, but uh, they want to work on that. They do miss you. They do, they do, they do, they do, they do. They nasty though, but they do. Sound off in the comments, let me know how this resonated. If this resonated, like the video, please. Please. <laughs> and remember guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up, pal number three? Welcome to your reading on what would they say to you if they were drunk? They drunk called you, drunk texted you, you know, whatever. Um, that vibe in the world of what if. They don't have to drink. They don't have to, you know, this is just, we're just, this is just an insightful little intuitive reading for you to like, you know, put on your, 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 your intuitive hat and, um, you know, take yourself there, you know. Uh, let's just play with the subconscious, see what comes out. How you feel about this person, how they feel about you. Okay? Okay. So I've been absorbing this little clear quartz is my favorite crystal if you didn't want to know but um what we're going to be doing is looking at maybe some things that they would actually say like i have uh these um i have these uh cards that i made and then we'll also do some dice divination with astrology we'll 
to see, you know, what kind of person they're, they are, their energy, their vibes. Then we'll do some cartomancy, which is just playing cards to see what maybe the energy was in the actual connection. Um, and then we'll end it with some tarot, uh, the pot tarot to be um, precise. And that will uh, get us to up to speed as to what they're doing now or how they're feeling now. Okay, so we got a lot of little divina divinatory um, things to do, okay? Um, so before we get started, just go ahead and do me a favor and tap the like button for me, please. I, I've been telling everybody, do not smash my like button. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Don't hurt him. You, you, you lightly tap him. He said, I'm tired of getting smashed all the time. They be smashing me and, uh, and all this other shit. Like, stop it. it be, beat my baby up. Just tap him lightly and you'll see that little colors go all, you know, like they did a little update. You, they, they, woo, sparkles and stuff. Get the little dopamine hit and subscribe too. That, 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 that button does the same thing. Go ahead and do that too. Uh, I want you to get all your dopamine. But don't but don't hurt my, my like button, please. Thank you. Your breakage about it. But anyway, let's get started. Um, let's look at, let's roll the dice first. Let's roll the dice and see what the energy of your person is. Whoever they may be. Maybe romantic, platonic. So far it feels like romantic to me, but y'all gotta let me know in the comments. All right, so I see the moon and Pisces in the fourth house. Oh goodness. This, this already getting on my nerves. Why, wow, Dap? This doesn't be their placement, but like moon in Pisces uh, energy for me, it can go very extreme. It may, and it, emotionally. And the thing about it, it's not that the extreme emotions that bothers me. I'm a Scorpio moon. We, we go more intense than, than, a, than a Pisces moon, by the way. But it's just the, the quality of it. What I mean by that is a moon in Pisces would believe the the delusions <laughs> moon and pisces energy because the moon is already kind of deceptive and loon it's this very subjective energy right it's, it's not it's not like the sun which is the truth like you see it in the daytime you see it it's it, it's there you can see with two eyes no, no 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 the moon is more subdued than that it's like it has to be interpreted it has to be you know felt it's a vibe more than a, a construct and so then you add this um this this watery illusionary like energy of pisces to it it can become a little bit loony to me okay loony to me loony to me to me to me <laughs> like and in the fourth house of cancer so you have all the eh. this person is an over emotional person they're moody um they can be lost in their own feelings they can they cannot be very anchored in reality is what i'm saying not 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 shitting on all my pisces moon people i'm not saying that they ain't have to have this placement but it's just like, I'm just reading the energy and they're already getting on my nerves. <laughs> just so you know who this is. I'm a very sensitive uh, person, but they're not so much sensitive as in like empathetic. They're sensitive and they are, it's like the dark side of, of the sensitivity, like, or the, or the negative side, which is like, they may be very um, quick to be offended or like, how dare you and blow up. Or they may hide their feelings or project them as anger and like, just cause them a scene and just like just like damn okay um the, the the situation is like a two you are at a a 14 and a half please calm down before you have a stroke it's like that and it's like they may have been scary but this is what they would say to you drunk it was all insert scapegoats here fault it was all they fault can't take accountability I felt like you knew too much. So they, 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 they probably backed up or cut things off because you weren't dumb. And they cannot take the criticism or being wrong with the evidence. It's like, no, you got you you coming at me too much. Even though that they was probably doing some shit. It's like they it's like they could not take accountability. That's that thing. I feel like you knew too much. You was, you was calling me out too much. I will never forgive you. Forgive me. I will never forget you. They're still playing the victim. Okay, I see. I got you. I got you. Y'all still in that little play. Okay, okay, I see. I see. Y'all still ain't done no work. Y'all see, it's everybody else's fault. Everyone else is crazy but me. Everybody has dogged me out, done me dirty, done me fuck them, fuck you. Okay, that's where we're at. Okay. Should we continue or I'll just call it it? Okay, well, I guess I'll I guess, I mean, might as well. What was the situation like? Lord have mercy. Playing cards, cards of Mancy. All right, already we have the Eight of Clubs, Swift Changes, the Jack of Hearts, a Hopeless Romantic. Whoop. 
Six of hearts, the X. This person may have um, left you for the X. This person may have always been around the X. You may love them for your X. Some X was involved, but not like you two. It's like, it's like somebody's X's was involved. Um, I think they laid it on thick or like they was really, really into you or something like that. And like, maybe they left you high and dry. They may have gotten you pregnant for some. Somebody, this is your baby daddy. Somebody, this is your baby daddy, baby mama or some shit. They may have a baby daddy, baby mama. It's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's a triangle here or something. I don't know. I think they know to get people pregnant if this is a dude. The son in reverse. This person's a goddamn narcissist. I don't like using that word all the time, but they are, I mean, the son of reverse, this is a, a egocentric, crazy motherfucker. This is like, but it's me. Everything's about me, me, me. <laughs> it's like, you see how crazy the sun looks? That's him, bro. Like, Jesus. Okay. So, um, I feel like for some of y'all, like y'all spent more time, like in the bullshit of it, like fighting and like, the, the weird place, then, then y'all were happy. And y'all had like good times with this a friend or like a situationship um, or a, a love or whatever. Y'all spent more time in the in the down, in the in the in the thickets of the bullshit than you did like like in the honeymoon phase. God. It's like this person just liked to just stir the drama. They just like to 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 be to feel like they like to feel like they gotta defend themselves, or like they have to. They love a narrative of somebody just doing them dirty. They love telling people this shit. It's like they just create chaos. I don't even know why. They just love chaos, but they love, um, they love to to love bomb as well. It's like this person is toxic as fuck. They think this is what it's like to love somebody or be in love is to abuse them and then like try to make up for it, and then abuse them again, and then love bomb them, and then leave them, and then go back. They have a weird relationship with their mom. That was random. I feel like they have a weird relationship with their mother. And that's part of the reason if this is a dude, you got mommy issues. Mommy issues. Well, what's uh, the truth of where they at now in the, about the connection? We have the, the, the five of bongs. Yep, broken. You, 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 you said you was done. I'm done, I'm over with your crazy, I'm done with your crazy ass. Do not make me file a restraining order against you. I will, I will, I will file a restraining order against you. It gives me that vibe. Somebody had to call the police a couple times on this motherfucker. He don't give a fuck. Call the police. You have a warrant out for your arrest. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I will. I see the queen of buds or the queen of pentacles in reverse. This person's a liar. A liar. But they are um, also... Uh, Clingy. I feel like right now that it's like they they see you as somebody who like took. It's like if you kicked them out the house or like if you left them, the lovers in reverse. If you broke up with them and you said you was done for real, they feel like you abandoned them. You you did them dirty. I was still there for you. I may have fucked you over. I may have fucked your friends. I may have still been fucking my baby mama. I may have done some dirt, low down, dirty shit, but I was still there for you. I would have left you. Well, you should have because like that's probably the healthiest thing you could have done for me was to leave. But you know whatever. I'm calling the cops now. Is that um, how they feel about you now? It's like they love you, but they hate you. <laughs> the Ten of Cups in reverse. They love you, but they hate you. They, they, some, some of them want to blame you for like why they doing, um, why, why they have negative emotions right now about themselves, why they feel bad about themselves. Instead of just like, no, you feel bad because you should feel bad. You, you did bad things, therefore you should feel bad. Don't put that on me. The Hermit in reverse. They feel lonely. This is like a crack pipe to me. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a little. A little weed, get another like crack pack or some shit. I don't know. Maybe they're doing crack. <laughs> how do they feel about um you? How do they, how do they feel about the relationship now? How do they see the relationship? How do they see the relationship moving forward? Death in reverse. They ain't changed. They have. They don't see it. Death in reverse. The will of fortune in reverse. They are perpetually stuck telling themselves a story that ain't even true. Like you were an opportunity for them to see themselves, like a mirror projected back at them. Like, like you need to, you know, get it together. They didn't. They did. They took not the lesson. They just perpetually doing the same shit. They'll be. They'll be 85 years old, still a fuck boy. If you are out of this energy, pat, pat yourself on the back. Woo! If you're still in this situation, get out of the relationship, please. Please stop entertaining this fool. 
Um, we have tempers in reverse. They could also be um, alcoholics or something like that. They get, they just do too much. They do too much. They do too, 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 too much, and they need to go to therapy. They need to get, and get some Jesus. They do. But that's all I got for you. Sound off in the comments if it's resonated. Um, and uh, <laughs> remember, guys, if uh, you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Oh, and by the way, uh, in the comments, let me know what you want to see next in terms of pick card readings and all that, all that, all that BS. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Mean it. Mwah, 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 mwah.